guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe, I'm a model, nutrition coach and personal trainer in London. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. So I filmed this intro after I filmed the video. So today's video is gonna be a what I eat in a day on my new cut. So if you haven't watched my last video, I'd go and watch that. I'll put the thumbnail on the screen now and I'll put the link in the description box. Make sure you go and watch that because it just tells you what I'm doing with my diet and also why. And I think that's really important for you guys to know why I'm doing this. Just to give you also a brief background that I have been on a bulk for 10 months. So today's video is a what I eat in a day. This is my new diet, my new, it's not a new diet, but it's my new back craze basically. So I'll see you in the next clip. Today I am back in my parents' house in Sussex, which is actually where I'm moving to in three weeks. Yesterday I didn't actually track because I was sick the night before and I just kind of wanted to intuitively eat yesterday. My parents had a dinner party, so I just wanted to enjoy the food and intuitively eat. So what you've seen me have so far is one cup of tea and I've had an orange squash with some carbonated water and I also nibbled on some nuts. I'd probably say it was about 25 grams, 20 grams of nuts. Um, so I have finished my orange squash and I also wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today. So these are from Active and Style on Kings Road and they are by, I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember the name, but they are really nice. They're like a marble effect. And then I've got a little crop top from New Look and this sports bra is from Forever 21. I think this was from New Look as well. And then I've just got some flip flops on, which I think, yeah, they're Hollister from when I used to work there. And yeah, that's it. I'm probably gonna wear this to the gym. I don't know if I'm gonna go to the gym yet. Um, I'm definitely going on a dog walk later, so I can't decide, but I need to go out to go to the supermarket, so. Um, I'm going to have a small bite to eat now because I'm a little bit hungry and then I'm going to head out and my sister might be coming over. It depends when she comes over because she's not very good with times um, as to when I leave but I am quite hungry. It is half eleven now so I'm going to have something to eat and I will show you what I eat. So in the next clip will be my food. Okay so we've got 10 grams of Rice Krispies, we've got some fruit, um, some zero syrup from the Protein Works some courgette and then under here is a zero calorie jelly um, and then I'm having that with a black coffee which is decaffeinated. Um, I don't normally have the zero calorie jellies but my mum always buys them for me when I come home so I'm having that and the decaf coffee is because I've already had a cup of tea and just I don't really need another caffeinated coffee, but I love the taste of coffee, so I just drink decaf. So I'm going to have that now, and then I think I am actually going to go to the gym. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, so I'm just in my car. Um, I stopped off at a garage on the way, and I got a white monster, which if you need some energy, these are really good. So I got zero calorie zero sugar um, and I really like the white ones. Um, it was really funny actually because I went to my local, um, what's it called, convenience store, shop, anyway in our li tiny little village where I'm from um, and I haven't been there since I was about 12, maybe younger um, and the guy behind the counter, he's always worked there like it's an Indian family and my dad and mum go there most mornings to collect their newspaper and he made a comment about like a newspaper or something I was like oh yeah my dad comes here every day and then he was like oh I thought I recognised you and he said can you take your sunglasses off and and then he was like yeah you're um, David and Fiona's daughter which is my mum and dad's and I was like yep that's me and he was like I remember when you when you were little and you'd come and get your sweets here and on your bikes with your friends which was so sweet because um yeah basically I used to go to that shop all the time with my friends we'd go on our bikes there and um, get like pick and mixes I don't know if you remember the days of like 1p cola bottles and um strawberry laces and we used to get like cherry drops and dip dabs and if any of you guys remember those childhood sweets so that was really sweet so basically i'm gonna quickly drink this i won't probably drink all of it i'm gonna have like half i'm gonna do a social media post because i haven't done anything on instagram yet my sister did come literally before i recorded the last no after i last recorded the last clip 
focus and we were just talking about some stuff so I did actually sit downstairs for like 45 minutes with them and the sun was out the sun's kind of gone in now but it was really lovely so I sat outside 45 minutes so it's now five to one I'm gonna do upper body I'm gonna do shoulders biceps and some abs it's normally my rest day but I think because I was sick yesterday I did work out yesterday well not sick but I was sick Friday night and then yesterday I wasn't 100% so my bottle was making a really weird noise. I'm actually sipping on this by the way, it's just orange squash, the one I was drinking earlier, with water. I love these bottles, they're really good when you have a straw. I don't normally drink squash as you guys know, but my parents have it and it's no added sugar, so why not? What was I saying? Yeah, so I did work out a little bit yesterday, but it wasn't 100%, so I didn't want to take a rest day today and I was really in the mood for the gym and I really feel like working on my upper body. I'm not gonna film because I don't know this gym. My dad goes here and basically gave me a pass. It's like a health club as well, it's a hotel. It's mainly um, a golf club, so it's huge. And there's a lot, it's bank holiday weekend, there's a lot of people in this gym who are here on like a holiday or on a spa break. So yeah, I don't really wanna like film. So I'll see you guys, I don't know when, probably at my next meal when I've because when I go food shopping, I'm not going to show you guys what I buy because I'm literally buying like four, well, five items and then two things for my mum and dad. I'll probably see you at my next meal and I will also make sure that I include my workout. I will put whatever I did today on the screen. So if you guys want to do it, you can also have a go. There are loads of workouts on my channel. So just search if you want to see some other ones. There's another upper body one coming next week. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so I had just got back from the gym. Sorry, that's my phone. I just got back from the gym and then I basically made a protein smoothie bowl, which I have the recipe on my YouTube channel. I will put the thumbnail here. Make sure you go and watch that because it's a brilliant recipe. It's really low in calories, it's really filling, really high in protein. I had the protein smoothie bowl, which was made with the Good Guru who I am a brand ambassador for, so I will put a discount code in the description box and on the screen so you guys can get a nice discount when you buy from them. I really recommend their, pro their, yeah, their protein because they use the natural sweetener stevia, which is straight from the plant. I also had with that a low calorie jelly, which my mum had bought me. I don't normally have them in London, but I quite like them as a little treat. With 160 grams of total far hay, far whatever it is, yogurt, total zero, which is an amazing yogurt and it's really high in protein. And I had some fruit on top with that. And then I had a small bag of popcorn for my carbohydrates. Like the macros I will, as you can see on the on the packet, are amazing for just this small bag of popcorn and it tastes really good when you pour it on top of the protein smoothie bowl. We went for a walk on the Ashdown Forest, which is where I'm from, and it was beautiful. And when we got back, I had a nice cold Diet Coke outside with my parents. They actually had Prosecco, um, but I had a Diet Coke. And I had a big glass of water as well when I got home. I also had two, or was it three? I think it was two wine gums in the car because my parents keep wine gums in the car and my dad said, do you want one? And so I said, yes. But we had some nibbles outside. So out of those nibbles that you can see, I had some carrot sticks, cucumber, I think it was four quail eggs. Quail eggs are amazing. And the brown stuff you can see is celery salt. If you're having quail eggs, celery salt is amazing if you dip them in so good or boiled eggs honestly try it we had dinner so for dinner i i haven't had a microwave meal for like a year but um i bought it because it was reduced and i knew that my mum didn't want to cook that night but we wanted to eat together and i didn't want to have what they were having so i had this and it actually it was really good so big thumbs up to waitrose and the macros on this were really really good as well with some steamed vegetables and a side salad Afterwards, when we were chatting, I also had some mixed nuts. Then, about three hours later, I had another low-calorie jelly with some fruit on top. Oh, I had some Oppo ice cream. So this is amazing if you're dieting. It's really low in calories and sugar and carbs. Well, for ice cream it is, but it tastes so good. Like, I generally, even if I wasn't trying to be healthy, I would eat this stuff. So I had 60 grams of that. Then I had some P2B, which is peanut butter powder, which you basically mix with water. 
and then I pour that over the popcorn that you can see and then I had 160 grams of Fahe total yogurt so um, I pour that over the top it's really good with the popcorn the popcorn was the same brand that I had earlier but it was a different flavor I think this one was sweet and salty I had some zero syrup in that little tray thing and there was some leftover pepper nuts almond butter so I just put that in there to use it up and then I had 15 grams of dark chocolate it looks a bit funny because I basically spilled some of my um, decaf coffee on that yeah I did have a decaf coffee with this as well and I basically dip the fruit into the syrup and the peanut butter is really good trust me that was it and I finished off my bottle of water as well I don't really know how many of those I had that day I had because I had some glasses of water as well that was my full day of eating but every single day is different for me I don't eat the same foods also because I was at home the food was a bit different but I thought that was why I would film to show you some variety as well so if you guys like these videos can you let me know and if there's any videos you want me to do any questions you want me to answer just comment below I can do them for you guys because I want to do videos that you like. Next week I think I'm going to be putting up an upper body workout. I have put my workout in the description that I did in today's video. If you liked it remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to support me and if you want to check me out on Instagram as well do follow me it's Chloe underscore Thomas underscore fit and my email address is Chloe T model at gmail.com so if you guys want to email me about personal training, nutrition coaching, modelling, anything like that. But I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!